So he gets you in this room. What did he tie you up with? One of those orange extension cords. I was tied up like a fish, an ornament on the wall. That's the only way I can describe it. I was hanging like this, my feet, and I was tied by my neck and my arms with the um, distension cord going like that. Oh my God. So he tied your hands and feet and also around your neck and hung you. Did you fight him at the time? At the time, no, because I, didn't, I was shocked. You panicked, just froze? Yeah, and the only thing I can do is cry, begging him, let me go back to my son. What did you say to him? I said, please don't do this to me. And he said, I can. You can't take me back. And then he threw money at me. What was the significance of him throwing money at you? He was obsessed with prostitutes. And also, he thought I was a 13-year-old prostitute. When he found out my real age, he got mad. I mean, th this was such a sick, demented man. He not only brutalized uh, Michelle physically uh, in terms of raping and beating her, but he also terrorized her uh, emotionally. He, he would taunt her about no one looking for her. He would play mind games and set up a s seeming opportunities for her to escape. A door left unlocked, a chain that was not properly connected. Then he would make a show of leaving and sneak back into the house to see if he could catch her mm. trying to escape. And if and when he did, the punishment was swift, it was brutal, and it lasted for days and days at a time. There were also periods of time where she would be left all alone. I mean, no food, no water, <laughs> uh, no bathroom for, for, for days, right? She came out weighing 75 pounds, which was just a little over half of her body weight when she went in. And he would leave her with nothing, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Uh, and she had like a, a small can, a coffee can, uh, that she would have to use uh, as, a, as a bathroom. What did she say about her relationship with the other women that she was held <clears throat> captive with, Gina De Jesus and Amanda Berry? I mean, were they, how quickly did she meet them? What, what was their relationship? Well, we know that she was taken first and she spent almost an entire year there on her own. Mm. And she had to deal with this animal, this monster, one-on-one -on -one through all of this time. Uh, about a year later, then the second girl comes in, then about a year later, and it wasn't exactly a year, uh, the third one comes in. And it seems as though, particularly in the early going, he kept them very separate. What, was there ever a time that she tried to escape? I mean, could she, other than these kind of set-up <clears throat> manufactured times? You know, there were, Anderson, there were, times where she felt like she, sh she could get away, but quickly uh, these things would disappear for her. Uh, understanding that he kept her chained up, either a chain around her neck, her waist, or her ankles most of the time. But she did everything she could to get people's attention, and the, the tactics and strategies that she used to negotiate this man and try to keep herself alive until she got a chance to escape were very impressive. I mean, she used tactics that you hear Homeland Security and the FBI using. I mean, just instinctually she did that.